Yeti, Kamehame, Yeti, Peanut. So many good matchups we could have had, but uh, we'll have to do the best with what these guys are here. And uh, they're, they're pretty amazing too in their own right. So. Uh -huh. And is that the, into the grab off of that combo? So Scat, he's got he's got a little bit of momentum knowing that he did pretty well against Kamehame. Yes. But uh, Scat, if you're looking bad at this, know that your friend here does not have much faith <laughs> in you. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Scat. I love you, man. I, I'm just being trying to be objective as possible. Look at these look down at, hairs. Yo, look at Peanut, man. Look how he's playing right now. He's on fire right now. That's why he's rocking the default. He knows he's the yeah, Mega he's Man. Yeah, he's the Mega Man, you know? I think Scat also used to rock the default a lot, too, but I think he's, like, surrendered it to Peanut. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you got it, man. Yeah, I bet you they're doing, a, instead of a money match, they're doing the default skin Yeah, match. yeah. So here we go. Uh, moving forward, that back airs. Back airs in this game, is it's so good. You have to use it on Mega Man's one of your core uses, but Peanut getting chipped out slowly, but remember, it's oh. Scat. He's still got a chance. Oh, definitely. He understands the character so well to not take advantage of weaknesses that uh, present themselves to him. And he's, oh my oh goodness, my he's trying to bait him out so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I there mean, it is. That, air, that really shows how confident Peanut is in his reads. Yes. He actually is like so scary when he's next to you, because he doesn't actually press buttons a lot of time. He's a, yeah, most like, of the time is waiting like, for look you. Look at his pose, he's so relaxed. Yeah. His body language does not like translate to how like crazy he plays. Uh -huh. <laughs> he makes it look so easy. He's it's terrified. Funny. It's like uh it's like uh warp in melee. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Like the no tech god, but read the role, that's what if I'll give something to Scat, he's so good at reading the roles. Yes. Very good ledge presence. Uh-huh. But Oh, I thought that was an up tilt. And he's down airs. Trying to use the crash bomb, but Ooh. if oh if that combo that, that would have been, been crazy. Sick. Trying to find an option, but that Nair covering up Peepnut. He's getting slowly oh. but surely getting chipped down. Great runaway, knowing that he's not going to get anything off it. But the back air finally takes it. Finally. 38% is not too bad, but Peepnut. Well, that's that. Yeah, Peepnut is like, playing so aggressive off stage, dude. Mm -hmm. Forced to do the air dodge, but he's going to be okay. Mega Man's recovery, one of the best in the game, I would, I would argue. Yeah. And he's calling out. He's calling out these jumps so hard. Peepnut goes high to avoid the situation, but oh, nice leaf shield. You had to do that to get to the ground. Uh huh. And he calls out the jump once again with these fair using. <laughs> oh, nice. He's a rush. And he's and got, he got it. the tech chase punish with the forward smash. Oh my God, Peepnut's on a roll right now. He's on fire, trying to get something down. Scat uh, already at a huge disadvantage, but that. That Rar is doing pretty good right now, but he needs to force, like you said, he needs to force Piedma off stage and go for a godlike edge guard. Yes, that's what happens a lot of times I'm noticing in this ditto. If they're too far behind the percent deficit, they can't really rely on a hard kill, like a hard read punish. You have to just like get them off the stage and go for an edge guard. Mm -hmm. But but of course but the Piedma. other Mega Man knows you're going for that. Yeah, so it's, it's Piedma. Not easy. He, yeah. he knows exactly what Scat wants. And he's not gonna let it happen. Doing so good, calling out the jump once more, oh. crash bombs on him. Well, up here to deal with the leaf shield, so smart. I don't, I, I'm terrified of Pete that's just rush. It yeah. It scares me. He's doing it in such these odd situations, but they're working out so well for him. Uh-huh, and the crash bomb, gonna detonate, forcing Scat to stay off. So no edge guard, unfortunately for him. He's gonna force it out. I no. think Scat was going for a shield break punch or the up tilt after the crash bomb on shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he's so scary. But Scat recognized too because he does and the same thing. Edge guard from Scat. And there's the back air. Yeah, I mean, he's going to find the edge guard. But is it a little too late now? He's able to get that chip damage if he gets a godlike spike. Maybe he can get something down, but it's Peanut after all. The crazy Mega Man. That leaves shield 25, 35. He's doing so well, but his jump gets called up once more. Peanut's on a roll with these reads. Nice covering the roll from the ledge again. Where he's gonna go? Oh, he had no more invincibility. Being at the holding onto the ledge at high percent means that you have very but, little yeah. invincibility. And if Pima recognized that, knowing that the forward air actually hits you when you're on the ledge. Look how relaxed he is. Yeah, he's just like he flipped the hair, <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> legs crossed, just chilling. You know, another day in the office. It's another day, another Mega Man did. Another day, send him a clinic for these Mega Man players. He's like, yeah, try me. Oh, we got the name switch. Uh oh. Let's uh, switch the names. Production. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, Pete, not looking a little different yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, what, what's going on? <laughs> they switched yeah. this man's soul, but Scat, 
it was there. It was just that Peanut capitalized so hard when he was in advantage. Yes. Scat's disadvantage looked like a mess. Yes, definitely. And uh, I did say that I feel that Peanut can win this 2-0, but I don't really want to see it go to 2-0 like that. I want three games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Mega Man after all. It's Marvel. I want to see Scat make the adjustments happen for sure. I know he's capable of doing it. And as soon as he's in that, he's off to a great start. 38-53. That downer does so much. Yes. It's And the, it having less landing lag than before makes it such a viable tool in this game. Mm -hmm. And he's got the crash foam on it. It's taking up his entire face, but great use of the air dodge, directional air dodge to get away from it. So I just love how both players change their play style when they're on Battlefield or FD. Yes. Yeah, this being a different stage than FD, he's giving his cat a little bit more options than he had before. Uh, I thought he was going to run into that yeah, one. Yeah. I was scared of that. But this is people after all. Yeah, he's not going to fall for a fully charged s yeah. in his face. That's his thing, right? That's yeah. his thing. But speaking of that, Scat doing so well already. But as soon as they say that, he's oh. going to be okay. Great tech coming into play. Yeah, crucial tech. Luckily, he's not the low percent, so he's not going to be worrying about a techable. But Ooh, oh, my no sweet God. spot. Not the sweet spot, but the fact that he called out the roll there, so good. Yeah, and already Peepnut's coming back with the percent lead. Both of them falling up with these jabs, trying to get something down. Oh, that back air was so close. Nice. And great use of the up smash. That's going to be it. Scat. That was so smart to recognize the in lag of the leaf shield and, and being a parry to up smash. So that, that rush that he placed down, a lot of Mega Man players do it in order to get more, the less invincibility off. Yep. But he missed the rush barely, and Peepnut knew exactly what Scat was going for, so he just shifted over to the left and was able to avoid it. Yeah. Small thing really, if you don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's a really smart way to waste your opponent's invincibility. Mm -hmm. Same thing, uh, Sonic's do the same thing. Yeah. But in this case, he was just a little bit off. You saw it was a little shifted too much to the right, and these leaf shields are so good. Keep not. Woo! Chips him with the, with the forward smash, and great use of the. Oh, man, he didn't oh, get enough alive. knockback, and no ledge chum. He man. buffered the ledge, he buffered the get up option, and great use of the down tilt in order to get out of that situation. Great rollback to avoid yeah, oh the Oh, my goodness. Smash. Scat's just barely hanging alive, but there's the forward air finally getting the stock. Scat, though, decent lead right now. He's playing really smart, not letting Peepnut get anything for free. And, uh, yeah, if he doesn't have, if I know Peepnut's advantage is really good, but if he's not in a situation where he can take advantage of that, then uh, Scat's just going to have a really good time. Uh -huh. And I love these, like, I love these footsies that are happening right now with both of them, like, trying to get out of the corner, but as well as following up with it. That back air, 82%, so good. Scat's backers in all of these Mega Man setups have been so good. Oh, he's going to follow the recovery. No, good recovery there from Here Peter, we go. but another back air off the stage. Oh. Ooh, great air dodge. Yeah, I like the idea from Scat, but that was really smart. Oh. And confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure our throats are good. But thinking of that, Peepnut, great spacing on that shield. He was threatening to cross it up, so Peepnut was forced to roll away in that case. OK, can you get an edge guard here? Scott's been playing really smart at the ledge. Oh, bad air dodge, though. He's in a bad spot. I like the I like when Scott does that. The forward smash is to give them more space on the ledge, because they have to respect that hitbox, so they like back up a little bit. It's really smart. Oh, oh. great setup with that saw blade, and they're both going so aggressive oh. for it. And great up smash to catch it, but it was scaled up from previously, so not enough. Nice. He just makes them respect the forest match, gives them some space on the ledge, yeah. or the, the middle of the stage, rather. Yeah, and he's looking for that saw blade, unable oh. to find anything, though. Oh, Ooh. barely takes away in time to avoid that. And that fourth throw, not going to be enough just yet. That crash bomb is used to cover his oh. recovery, but great call out on the jump. Nice. He jumped to avoid it exploding from the crash bomb, and then Scat covered it immediately with the forward air. He's so good right now and using that rush. Scat, his stock's not taken just yet. He's going to be okay. Oh, Great beautiful. Use of the up air. So smart. But he's still at the ledge and still going to get punished yeah. at shield with the up smash. Yeah, that uh, Mega Man's up smash has deceptively big hitbox on Yes. It. it even scoops you off the ground, uh -huh. too. So now Peepnut trying to do this comeback, closes one out 2-0. Scat, though, he's been looking really good in this game. I want this to be a three game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing these Mega Mans at the same caliber like this, it's so good. Both of them really respecting each other right now. Nice. Recognizing which moves can clank with the Metal Blade. Not nah, down tilt. Yeah, Scat's been hitting a lot of down tilts in comparison to the other Mega Mans. That's like the legendary Mega Man move in those games. <laughs> yeah, it the looks really slide. cool. 
And here we go. Oh, oh. no, that's huge. Oh, he oh, makes he it saved back. it, but that was still really interesting like to air dodge in that situation. Was it on purpose? I don't think so. I, uh, I couldn't tell you. It's beam though, right? Yeah. <laughs> And tried to go for that oh, setup. Chill poke. chill pokes right through. What's the setup for this edge guard? He's gonna get oh. covered. He charges it up. He knows it. That forward throw. What's the edge guard setup for Scat? Yeah, Scat's just rinse and repeat, keeping him where he wants Ooh. him. I can't believe he did. And he's it up got it with that one. No, no he's, he's alive. barely alive. Commentator's curse coming into play. Oh my God! I spoke too soon. He's not alive anymore. He is in the depths of hell with that spike. Oh my God! <laughs> there he goes, Scat. Scat. Bringing it to game three. Wow, that was such a good edge guard, man. He kept him at the corner of the stage for such a long time, only to finish it off with the down air spike of all things. That was so good. Coming into play right there, but both players, they're playing on fire right now. It would be great for Scott to get this win over PMAT, shut me up, prove me wrong. You know, finally uh, show that he can compete in this ditto, and PMAT's just not gonna win this one for free. Oh, they fist bump, and they know this, this is the end. Oh yeah. Yeah, you better, you better, you better be nice now, because Scott's gonna look back at this ball. Oh. <laughs> look at his friend betraying him. <laughs> I, I'm, I did want to see Scott bring it to Game Three, uh -huh. and but I'm glad that Peanut is deciding to bring it back to Battlefield. Surprisingly, after doing so well on the FD Wiley's Castle. Mm -hmm. But both of them going forward out of that great tech reads by both of them. Look at Scott; he's on fire right now with these reads, but he's unable to get past that point. That leaf shield is so strong to both of them. Oh and my goodness, just so much damage. If it's just crazy to see how much damage that move does. But and the edge guard is for it there, but the, the crash bomb, bomb is always there to save him. Oh, punches the roll with the uh -huh. up tilt. He's gonna be okay. That crash bomb's on his foot though, so it's gonna force him into that shield. Bad M smash though. It's going high. Nice pressure on the shield, but he does know how to deal with that leaf shield to punish it. Uh, but great catch by Scat to get that metal blade, and he tried to punch it over. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness, he didn't know where he was going. Left, right. Boom! Oh, oh, he's gonna deep be, back air. The, crash, the bomb? crash bomb does give him his up B back, though, so he's he's fine. And he's going to be okay. That bear is doing so much. Oh, the crash bomb's on snipe. him, though. Goes high. Oh no, he saved his jump so intelligently and uses the leaf shield to get back to the ground. Yeah, Scat's Intelligent on recovery from Scat. Scat is like on fire right now. He's got so much momentum in his favor. But that bear from Peepnut, that F smash, barely missing out as well. Oh, the leaf shield again. It it's blocked so the metal good. blade. That could have been a, a metal blade back air. Uh-huh, and great catch oh. them, but that bear, not Worth enough. Living. Yeah. Beautiful DI. Great DI into that momentum cancel. So oh, but you can't hang at the ledge. Can't hang on to it. That's Not enough. A, uh, two high percent. That's a repeat from game one. Yep. That's one thing I've seen Pima do consistently that the other Mega Man's haven't done yet. He's using the fair to punish that too much grabbing on the ledge. Yep. And, but, Scat, these leaf shields and his back airs and his tech chases have been so good in this round. Definitely. I love the down airs, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Goes high, nice, but misses his up till That's a big I think he whip. wanted the down air to send him to the left so he can get that combo. Yep. But that's a big whip. Air dodge to get away from it and right you oh, see, gotta oh watch the shield. And make sure if you are hit by Mega Man's out there, do Don't not jump. jump. Don't do not jump. jump. So both them on oh, it. Oh punish, Ooh. yes. Hits him with the short Crucial you can. parry. Scat. Parrying the first hit of the dash attack. And that's exactly what we're talking about using the rush in order to get that ledge vulnerability off. Nice. They're playing so intelligently and Scat working with a big lead right now. Uh-huh. I felt like that game two helped enable him to do so well in game number three. Oh. Goes high. And there it is, the leaf shield to just pressure the shield, make it so that he can't press any buttons to punish his landing. Mm -hmm. Really smart. Can he just taunt? I can tell. Yeah, I <laughs> they can taunt cancel in this game, so like if you miss it, it's probably because they already cancel it really fast. If he's not using taunt cancel. Yeah. Actually, he does do that. I remember from last night at the hotel room. He's doing this crucial Mega Man setup. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, the crash bomb. Can he do anything with it? Oh, Ooh, my. The crash bomb saved him. Wow. But, the but there's the F smash. Yeah, he's not going to cover by this one. So last stock, last round. What do we see from these players? Does Scat get the quote-unquote upset against Peanut, or will Peanut be able to take this and show that he truly is the strongest Mega Man at this venue? Scat's looking really good, though. It's anyone's game. Nice. Metal Blade to the forward air again. Goes high. 
Just to the ledge, really good stuff there from Peanut to mix up Scat. Uh huh. He dropped his shield at the wrong moment. That leaf shield's gonna go right through it and trying to use the backer to call out a jump, but Peepnut using his oh. air the wrong way. He's gonna go so deep to snipe with that, man. Uh -huh. so crazy. We back up the stage. No, goes for a DI miss with the Ooh. down throw. He's getting so close, and that now, he's going for the heart. Peepnut knows he's in trouble. That's yes. why he's going for these hard down, down air reads, but that back air into back air, so strong. Oh. Peepnut's trying to force his way in, get something started, but Scat's making it so difficult right now. He knows where to play on the stage, to play so safe. Off stage now, crash bomb. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. almost blew him up into the forward smash. Insane ledge trap from Scott. Yeah, keep not in the back end right now. Can he make a miracle happen? He's, He's got him off the one. stage. Oh my goodness, no ledge trump. Doesn't cover the roll either. He's, so close. He's got the back air. Both of them really respecting it. Any straight F smash that hits Peepnut will spell the end of this game. Oh my goodness, this is so close. Back and forth, Scott looking for the one opening to throw him oh. off the stage. Peanut playing so carefully to avoid getting put in a horrible spot. He needs to make this comeback happen. Uh -huh, this might be the start. He has him at the ledge where he wants him. Nice. He's got the read. What's the option? Oh. No down air. That's such a safe play by him. Oh, Great beautiful parry. He's parry, be okay. but unsafe for his match on shield. There's a forward air. No, no great DI by Peepnut. He's going to be alive. This is oh. far from over. Air dodge to get back onto the ledge. Oh this my is goodness. where Perry. Go for the back throw. Is that back throw? Is that enough? No, no he's we're alive. living almost at 200%. He's charging up that S smash. What is oh he got? Oh my five? goodness. Neutral get up. Not going to be gone. Metal he's blade. Grabbed the Wall ledge jump. Though. Oh my <laughs> goodness. He's so far off the stage. Where can he go? Oh, he's alive. No throw. Oh, oh. oh, we got the he's shield got drop it. punish. The forward smash is just enough. Peepnut.